Good morning, my darlings. <laughs> Happy Sunday. I just, did I just wake up? Well, I would say I've been awake, but I, I just finally got myself up. You know, I'm having some tea. So I'm not full throttle yet. <laughs> I'm not full throttle, but I'm getting there. I'm getting warm. I'm, it's quite cold in the apartment. And uh, <sighs> yeah, so so how are you today, my darling, whoever you are? I wish you a beautiful day. And uh, I hope you're following me. And if you're not, I hope you will consider giving me the follow. No, giving me the follow. <laughs> it sounds like giving me the finger. Um, I hope you will giving me a thumbs up and uh, following me because apparently this helps the channel to grow and it helps with the algorithms and I keep forgetting to mention it. So I th I'm going to try to remember to mention it more often that I would appreciate it if you followed me, right? And interact and give a thumbs up. And um, so today I wanted to talk about um, a story that I, I didn't see the, the clip um, because I, I typically am not interested in watching these people, but apparently this group of people, this group of adults on some show, maybe in England, no doubt. I don't think this happened in America, although you can't really, you know, be too sure about any of these things anymore. And um, apparently, you know, they had some show where one of the characters, this man, this father, this grandfather, to be whatever he is, um, he um, <laughs> he wants to uh, send a very clear message to the paparazzi. Um, he apparently made some comment about dangling Archie from the the balcony. And people, some people thought that was really funny and other people were just like horrified that someone would actually say that about a child. I guess this guy was referencing that time with Michael Jackson when Michael Jackson dangled one of his children over a balcony. I mean, the quickness with which these people always make these um, sort of racial innuendos is, is something that, you know, whatever, but. That said, I mean, as I said, I didn't see the clip and I don't watch these people because they just, you know, they rearrange your, your mental state. They, you know, it's just not, it's not healthy. You know, it's not Greek yogurt. <laughs> so I don't watch, um, you know, what can I say about their depravity? Um, Archie is such a handsome little prince like his daddy and he, well he looks more like his mommy I think he looks like Megan and he's the, the pride of his father and uh and that's really all I mean I I wouldn't get bent out of shape about these people's depravity because um in a way they, they it it is the essence of what they are and who they are they can't change so why continue to get upset? Why continue to expect a different result? Um, you know, I'm not insane, right? So why should I continue to expect these people to to behave in a way that is, is you know, is kind? They're not kind, you know, and they're not, I mean, they are what they are. <laughs> in every core in the sperm and egg that formed them you know it's not their fault you know where did that sperm and egg come from wherever it came from you know what made that sperm and egg it, it, you know it, it's in the soil I mean you know they can't help it so I can't continue to get upset constantly I mean sometimes I get upset but I mean look 
you know, Archie is a handsome boy and he's loved by his parents. And, you know, hopefully if his parents go to the coronation, and at this point I think they're going because, you know, time, time matters, you see. And the longer they wait to say they're not going means that they are going. So hopefully we get to see him on the balcony with his family. And, and that's all I have to say on that one, right? Five minutes. of, the, of It's a five-minute video just to say, look, I mean, Archie's gorgeous. <laughs> He's gorgeous. He looks just like his mom. So there you go. Okay, that's it.